Hi guys, Sugar here with a new video and this video is my solo shuffle match with Retribution Paladin and uh, I want to show you guys how cool it is to actually play Paladin. This is my build, I will of course talk about it in the future, but um, all in all we are going to do some great 3v3. Let's go Feral. Feral is a great kill to be honest. If we stick together, we're going to be Gucci. We want to actually stack a bit. With Lawbringer. Oh, they're going on the healer. Alright. Let's do some damage. Alright. I'm getting kited around already. Line of him. So I'm playing with Crusader, Crusade, like uh, the. Um, why do, why does he stay on the actual Demon Hunter? That's a real question, man. Stun on him. Can we keep on the actual kill target? That would be really cool. I'm stunned. I, I want to sacrifice him to get more damage on my judgment. We can maybe switch on the heal up, never mind. I'm gonna snipe him. Let's go. You see, my damage is actually impressive because La Lawbringer is a PvP talent. But actually, every time I'm judging a target, it will have a 1 minute debuff. So every time I'm going to judgment, it will automatically do damage to everyone and 10% of HP, HP of 351 is pretty much 35k and you already see this it is actually translating as 35k ex except there could be also uh, go enhance uh, there could be also some damage reductions or any it's like anything else to actually ruin the damage but overall we're doing pretty great and we are going to split mastery in haste mostly haste we're going and then mastery uh, but we are going to discuss about it in a future video because I really like my actual uh, gameplay on. So he starts with. All right, I'm gonna snipe him. I'm gonna use my defensive, although it's not really a lot. I'm gonna try to kite a bit. So you gotta kite a bit as a paladin, even if you are bursting. I'm gonna stun him, I'm gonna sacrifice him, so we can have more damage on our little... Woo! This is going to be so cool! Wait, I'm going to do a lot of damage real soon. I'm going to blind the healer, he got broken, I found. I'm cycloned, which is good. Which is good, which is good. I need to bubble real soon. I'm gonna bubble right now. I don't trust the healer. Alright. Let's do damage now. I'm gonna stun the target. I'm gonna bob the healer. Kick! Nice, well played. So I kicked the Resto Druid, I tried to go as close as possible to actually kick the Resto Druid and it went very well. Don't forget, you use your utilities, your defensive, defensively. Like you're riding a car, you try to defensively ride the car. You want to play defensively in Resto Shuffle. You don't want to go all in and then forget about the healer that gets cycloned like 20 or 30 yards from you, right? So you want to actually be able to um to to peel for yourself but peel also for your enemies so don't for uh, for your allies don't forget about blessing of sacrifice don't forget about blessings of uh protection divine shield yourself w way ahead of time because again it's solo shuffle nobody's going to pay attention that you did it a bit too soon it's better to be too soon than too late 
So let's do this. We're going on the Feral. Feral is a great target. I'm um, Cyclone. I'm not bursting, so I'm very good right now. I'm gonna stun directly the Resto Druid. So that's a stun. And then a blind. And we're going to go to town now, right now. Boom! Boom! And he's dead. I didn't really do a lot of damage, but I tried to control the Resto Druid again. He trinketed directly. I did a, of course, blind, which was very effective. And we also see with Raging Decree, it does quite some damage. So I'm not playing with um, the uh, Ashes to d uh, Dust and with Wake of Ashes. We're playing with Raging Decree because it does sick amounts of damage whenever you're bursting, but also just it gets boosted by Final Reckoning, gets boosted by Judgment, and sometimes you can crit it for 150k, and that's actually very, very nice. So go Shaman. So already we have three wins. If we win this one, we will have four wins, and I think it's great, to be honest. So we're going to stack it up. Alright. It's alright, it's alright, it's alright. I'm gonna stack on the Elemental. Uh, I'm banished. Who are they going for? Hmm. Oh, the Feral Druid! Mm. Anyways. I, I, he has maybe the best damage, but it doesn't matter if you are actually dying. Like, you should not play like this whenever you are feral, like, mindlessly going into it. Th that's the reason why he has zero points as well. So go feral, it's the easier target, unfortunately. But um, as a feral druid, you should really notice that you are the kill target. And if you're if you're not noticing it, you're going to get blown, like, that easily. So let's go, we're going to stack it up a bit, I'm going to slow him, that's fine, that's still fine, I'm going to stun him, I'm stunned, oh he reversed it, what a, what a, what a G, okay let's, let's go to town, I think I'm going to bubble real soon, Okay, we, we have a defensive, so I'm gonna stay in. I'm going on the Demon Hunter. I'm going to blind real soon, let's blind. It's done, real soon, too. Oh, man. I'm gonna run away. So I tried to run away from the DH because obviously I'm the kill target. I don't really want to to be facing him all the time. I want to I want to face the kicked him. Don't know if it doesn't. I don't know if it really matters. I want to actually try to bait them into thinking the better kill target is the shaman. Okay, I'm gonna I'm gonna burst right now if I can. It's done. No, it's, it's a kill, it's a kill, it's a kill normally. It's a kill. Well played. So what you have to do as a paladin is really kite. If you if you know that you're the kill target and you're facing a demon hunter, Hand of Hindrance is actually not a bad ability. You can also just go Freedom and Divine Steed and you're pretty much faster than them. It doesn't matter how much mobility it has. Go Feral. Um, but in general, you're good. You're good to go uh, whenever you're facing those kinds of uh, players. And obviously, they were trying to kill me um, instead of the Shaman, which is a good option because I'm the easier target to kill. But um, again, doesn't matter. We're, we're doing very great. Um, if we can have a fifth win, that would be very good for my MMR. Uh, I'm going to directly do a stun into a blind, full blind. Okay, now we can go to town. Now we can go to town. Okay, he has pain suppression, doesn't matter. We're going to switch. We need to kill the counter strike totem. Kicked him. Mm, that's not a good target. I'm gonna, I'm, I'm gonna bubble. Okay, I don't feel that damage. We need to go to back to the actual kill target right now. I'm gonna do some AoE. Let's kill the 
Disc Priest. And he switched perfectly towards the Disc Priest, by the way. That's actually a great option. Okay, next kick is for me. Oh no, we did, I also kicked the actual thing. Oh, he switched. He switched back on the... Stun. He should die, and he's dead. Well played. So we won 87 CR, which is not that much since it's a low CR rating, whatever. But still, um, 8.9 million damage, 1.2 million healing. So you saw I'm, I was not really healing a lot with World of Glory because Justice Cars Vengeance is just that much better. It actually heals you for the damage you're doing. And it means that you can go in offense and still heal yourself. And what you can do is also just kite and heal yourself if you can. Or if you have your healer next to you, you can just get healed by him. So again, that was one match. I want to showcase more matches, but to be honest, I sat like a 30 minutes queue for that match. So it's I'm already happy that I, that I won that match uh, with five rounds. So it's it's quite good. I'm trying to get my CR a bit higher with uh, my Retribution Paladin, but I don't get a lot of games because of the queues. I hope it will be get fixed really soon. But again, we cannot oblige people to play uh, healers. So. Uh, even I am playing Holy Pre uh, Paladin sometimes whenever the queues are very, very long. So thank you for watching this video. I really appreciate you. Be sure to subscribe to the channel if you haven't done that yet. And I will soon make a retribution guide whenever I've played enough games to test a few builds. Uh, I'm very, very much enjoying uh, my time as a Retribution Paladin, also as a Holy Paladin, and I'm still playing my Arms Warrior, my Destruction Warlock, but the queues are very long, so I don't get a lot of games on those characters, unfortunately. Uh, but once the queues are like fixed, we are going to do a lot more videos of that type on this channel. So thank you for watching, have a great day, and be sure to stay safe. We will catch each other very soon in the next video. Have a great day. Bye. Now wake up, it's time to look at the enemy Look in the mirror, if he is no friend of me